In my early gardening days, mulching with bark chippings was a ritual everyone followed. It looked neat, suppressed weeds, and was said to keep moisture in the soil. Every autumn I'd spread bark around my plants, believing I was protecting them. The garden looked tidy, and that seemed enough. But over time I noticed something was off. Digging into the soil I found it compacted and lifeless, few worms, no earthy smell. The mulch just sat there, barely breaking down. It was a cover, not a contributor. I started questioning this approach. In nature, forest floors teem with life, thanks to decaying leaves and twigs. My bark mulch was static and sterile by comparison. I realised I was smothering my soil, not nurturing it. Gardening should be about working with nature, not just imposing order. That's when I knew I needed a change. Traditional woody mulch like bark, decays slowly because it's high in carbon and low in nitrogen. Microbes pull nitrogen from the soil to break it down, depriving plants of nutrients. I thought I was helping, but I was actually creating a nutrient deficit. Thick bark mulch can also repel water, leaving soil dry and suffocating soil life. We value tidiness, but soil isn't just something to cover up. It's alive. By using sterile, slow-to-rot mulch, we starve the organisms that make soil fertile. My garden soil wasn't improving. It was stagnating. The absence of worms was a clear warning. Earthworms need decaying organic matter, not just a decorative layer. I realised I had to stop thinking like a housekeeper and start collaborating with nature. That was my turning point. I began mimicking nature using homemade compost, shredded leaves and kitchen scraps as mulch. Instead of one thick layer, I added thin, varied layers throughout the year. After rain, I'd spread compost, then a light layer of leaves. These materials broke down quickly, feeding soil life. Grass clippings and pruned stems joined the mix, all left to decompose in place. The garden looked less tidy, but more alive. This living mulch provided a balanced diet for soil organisms. Compost brought microbes. Leaves and scraps added carbon and nitrogen. The result? A constantly fed, thriving soil food web. It wasn't just about covering the soil, it was about nourishing it. My approach shifted from a one-time chore to ongoing care. The garden responded with new vibrancy. I was finally working with nature, not against it. Within a season, the transformation was clear. Earthworms returned, thriving in the rich, soft soil. Their tunnels aerated the ground, improving water and airflow. The soil became dark, crumbly, and full of life. Humus formed, holding moisture and improving drainage. My plants grew stronger and more resilient. The living mulch suppressed weeds and protected the soil from harsh weather. Weeds were easy to pull, and the soil stayed cool and moist. The garden was healthier than ever, lush, vibrant, and self-sustaining. I no longer relied on artificial fertilisers. Feeding the soil meant the plants flourished naturally. The results were visible everywhere. My garden had become a living ecosystem. The real difference is intent, covering versus feeding. Bark mulch hides the soil, compost and leaves nurture it. Nature never leaves soil bare. It's always covered with decaying matter. By mimicking this, we close the loop and build fertility. Every leaf, peeling and clipping is an investment in the soil's future. Adding organic matter isn't a chore. It's a joy. It connects you to the garden's rhythms and rewards you with abundance. You don't need to be an expert. 
Just observe and participate. Start small. Replace bark with compost or leaves. Let the soil breathe and feast. You're not just growing plants. You're cultivating life. This is true gardening, nurturing a living community beneath your feet. One handful of compost at a time, you help create a healthier world.